Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create sea glass mosaics and today I'm going to talk to you about creating a silhouette, part two. <laughs> So this is my sea glass mosaic that I made of a great blue heron and it's a silhouette of a heron um, and this is part two I talked to you last time about uh, some smaller sea glass mosaic projects that I did of silhouettes and this one is quite a bit larger it's on an antique window and I'm going to point out to you a lot of details of things that I did to just create a little bit more interest and detail in such a large piece. So I really like herons and I have lots of pictures to use for inspiration. And I just did a simple line drawing of a heron and taped that to the back of the glass and used that for an outline. And uh, you can see the brown sea glass creates a lot of texture in the heron because there's so many different shades of brown. It works really well for this type of a silhouette. And I had this really neat piece of pottery with blue on it, and I was able to use that for the eye. And if you flip the piece around, you'll see it's blue on the other side as well. So it's interesting, it looks the same from both, si both sides. And I made some birds sitting on a bench with some mussel shells. And I also did some birds sitting on posts. I used driftwood for the posts for this one. And you can add some detail by adding a bit of sea glass or a little pebble sitting on top. And I really like creating a lot of texture in the sky by making waves of sea glass. A few little extra pieces here for detail. And I used some white pottery to create the inukshuks in this piece. And here's a flower with some interesting rocks in the center. And I had this really cool piece of pottery that I used for the sun up in one corner as well. So if you look at the overall piece, you can see some of those details that I pointed out to you and some others. What I really like about this piece is how much texture there is in all the different shades of green and all the different shades of brown and white. So thanks everyone for joining me today as I've talked about creating a silhouette with your sea glass and um, resulting in a beautiful sea glass mosaic. And I hope that this piece and the other pieces that I've talked to you about that involve creating a silhouette will provide you with some inspiration in making your own sea glass mosaics. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them and I'll get back to you on them. And subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all my future videos. And you can check out my website at JackieTrimperSeaGlass.com. Mm -hmm.